Today we're working on changing the shot angle, okay? And we're gonna work on the snapshot, which uh, we haven't worked on yet this week. It's my favorite shot, especially in girls hockey, because so many of the goals are scored from in tight. But even if you're a D getting pucks in from the point, it's the quickest shot. It's got the quickest release, uh, which, you know, if you're trying to change the shot angle, you definitely wanna use the, the shot that has the quickest release. So that's gonna be our focus for today. Uh, first things first, Let's see our winner. Uh, so let me get this fired up here. So here's our winner. Okay, this is, I think you say it, Alicia. I, prompt, I apologize, Alicia, if I didn't say that properly. Okay, she's entered every, every day, which I think is awesome. And a lot of you have done the same thing. So nothing super fancy here, but it's smooth and it's clear and she has a good step. And I like that she shoots a backhand out of it. So good protect. A little extra dangle. Let's play that again. Hopefully everybody can see that okay. It's a little hard on my screen to see it perfectly. Um, so good protect and then pull. So she chose, let's watch that one more time. She chose to do the protect first, then the setup move and then the shot. Okay, so she did all three things. She does the protect move, which was the lunge. She does a setup move. Okay, and then she pulls backhand and finishes by stepping in. Okay, and stepping in on your backhand shot is a little bit more challenging for most players than the forehand. So that's why I like it. a little creativity here going to the backhand. So protect, set up move, and then that clear step, right? Let's watch that step one more time. And a lot of players don't step in on their backhand. They lean back and they keep their feet turned to the corner and then they kind of end up shooting it into the opposite corner. So you can see here, she drives her foot right into the middle of the net. One more time here. Okay, so here's our protect, setup move, and then driving that toe, the toe of her left foot drives into the net. That's a really important detail when you're shooting a backhand shot. So great job, Alicia. I apologize if I'm not saying that properly, um, but uh, you're the winner for uh, day three, which is great. So let's go over what I mean by changing the shot angle. Okay, and there's a lot of different ways to do that. Okay, now today we're gonna focus on only the snapshot. So there is no backhand uh, for today's uh, session, but you could easily shoot a backhand when you're changing the shot angle. Okay, and why do we wanna change the shot angle? Okay, two big reasons, I think. One, it allows you to shoot around a goalie or around the defender. So instead of just shooting one way at them, you pull it or push it, okay, to get around them. Uh, the other thing is it allows you to be deceptive. So even if there's no one to shoot around or you don't need to move the goalie, if you can change the shot angle, it gives increases the chances that you're going to get the puck through where you're going to score. Okay, so I'm going to show you two different moves and it requires two different videos. I promise we'll get rocking and rolling in a second here. Okay, so let's, um, let's see what I got here. Sorry, Alicia, you're still here. Let me find my other video. Okay, so... Let's talk about the push out move. So this is a really simple move. It's from my Instagram here. This is not me. Um, she's pulling from her backhand to her forehand and shooting a snapshot. So really simple, we'll just let it play and we'll just let it go. It'll probably go in a loop here. So she pulls with her backhand under. So now you can see she's got that dangle stick there. And that, what's that forcing her to do is lift up her stick as she goes around it. So this allows you to be deceptive Right, take your stick away from the defender instead of just sliding straight across. So this is a backhand pull, I call this the push. She's pushing it, okay, so push it out and snap. And she's shooting off, this would be her inside leg. The leg closest to her stick is her inside leg. Okay, so for today we may just shoot off the inside leg, we may add a step, marrying the shot and step into the outside leg, but this is one of the moves that we're gonna do today. Okay, and I like this video because you can see her using that extra stick or that little dangle toy um, to shoot. So the other one, uh, any of you that have done this session with me before have seen this shot before. So Mr. Matthews, okay, probably the best in the game at doing this in the NHL. Okay, so I want you to watch here how much he changes the shot angle. So right now he's stick handling the puck and the puck is out by the faceoff dot. Okay, and this is a slow-mo version. So look how much he changes that angle here on this defenseman. Okay, so you get a couple nice slow-mo, goes from outside the dot 
to inside the hash marks. So when you come out here, okay, stop. You can see the D and the goalie. You can see the goalie's foot and stick right now. Okay, they're setting up because it looks like Austin Matthews is gonna shoot here. Now you have to play the shot because Austin Matthews can score with this shot. So this is a bit of a setup move by Matthews too. He's pulled the puck back to make it look like he's gonna shoot. So this D-man and the goalie have to honor that shot and set up accordingly. Okay, so even that pullback from Matthews here that kind of looks like his wrist shot, that's his setup move. And then the real move is the toe drag. And then he shoots out of the toe drag. So just keep using the terms we've learned all week, right? The setup move is the pullback that makes it look like he's gonna shoot. The real move is the toe drag. And then he finishes with this shot. So let's watch that one more time. He's carrying the puck in, sets it up, pulls it in, rips it. So sets it up, okay? And the D guess is wrong and so does the goalie. Let's watch that one more time. Okay, so that's the drag in. This one is the push out. Okay, so when you hear me say push out, that's the move we're doing there. And when you hear me say drag in, this is the move we're doing here. Okay, so both are forehand shots. We're gonna use snapshots for both, okay? But those are the two moves that we're gonna to get to today. So that's the direction we're going. All right, so let's get our warm up in. We're gonna do a little bit of hip turn, okay? Cause a slightly different shot. We want a slightly different hip turn. And then we're gonna continue with our strength. So there'll be more push ups in today's workout. I, listen, I have a very oh, hold on. relationship. Sorry, my uh, video is doing something some funny here. Like I was in an elevator. Let's just close that. That's embarrassing. Sorry, everyone. Uh, let me just close some of this stuff. The Austin Matthews video was misbehaving. That's what I get for still using NHL video when I said I was going to use all girls. All right, let's get up. Okay, and no stick yet for the warm up. We're going to do our jumping jacks. So regular jumping jacks, clapping jumping jacks, and our cross country skier. Are we ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Clapping. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Skier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Clapping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 skier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Just some movement stuff. So grab your knee and pull up. Grab your knee and pull up. And when you pull, think about pulling all the way up onto your toe, the foot that's on the ground. Okay, so get right up on the toe every time. And think about pulling straight up. You don't want to be falling over. Losing your balance. So pop up under the toe every time. And think about getting taller. Pulling up towards the ceiling. Keep switching. Once we're done here, we're going to go back to this regular jumping jack. So let's do one or two more on each leg. Getting tall. Getting tall. Getting tall. Ten more regular jacks. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, foot's gonna go behind you. Grab, pop up onto that toe, and then switch. Grab, up onto the toe. Grab, pop up. Grab, pop up. Grab, pop. Grab, pop. Keep going. Grab, pop. Grab, pop. Couple more. Good. Uh, let's go 10 more clapping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. So we're going to do figure four. Okay. So you're going to grab shin, foot, and pull yourself up. Shin, foot, pull. Shin, foot, pull. Shin, foot, pull. Keep going. So today's a shooting workout, 
but it's really a lot of stick handling too. So it's a little bit of both. And tomorrow's child or workout will be the same. Okay, it'll be both stick handling and shooting. Okay, so we're working on changing the shot angle today. That requires stick handling and obviously the shot coming at the end. So keep going, pull straight up, shin, foot, pull. One more each way here, shin, foot, and pull. Awesome, let's do 20 more cross country skiers. Let's go, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, one of my favorites. So arms out, you're gonna kick across, kick across, then cross your feet, touch your toes, cross your feet, and touch. Again, kick across, kick across, cross, touch down, cross, and touch. Keep going, kick across, across, cross your feet, reach down, cross your feet, reach down. Keep going, cross, cross, cross the feet, reach, cross the feet, reach, kick, kick, cross, down, cross, down, Let's do one more each way. Cross and down, cross and down. 10 more regular jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, now, similar idea with the kicks, except I want you to face me, but I want your leg to go up to the side. Okay, so your toes still stay facing me and you reach up. So kick. Kick, kick. Try not to tip your body too far over. It's not a karate kick here. So you're trying to keep your upper body vertical and keep your leg pretty straight as you go out to the side. So kick, 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 kick. Keep going, kick, kick. I don't know about you guys, I'm way better on one leg than the other. Like on one leg, I have to think about it. Maybe that's just old age, you're not there yet. Keep going, kick, kick, one more each way, kick, and kick. 10 more clapping jacks, everything out wide, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, eight, nine, and 10. All right, let's do curtsy lunges. Okay, it kind of looks like a crossover. So, stand on my right leg, I'm gonna step my left foot back, touch the knee down, and bring my feet back. So watch that again, going the other way. Okay, so it looks like you're bringing your foot kind of on a 45 degree, touch the knee, touch the knee, touch the knee, keep going. I don't know why I turned there. Touch the knee, touch the knee, keep going, touch the knee. So one foot should be pointing straight ahead at me, while the other one turns a little bit and touch that knee down. Touch, touch. Touch, touch, let's do one more each leg. Touch, and touch, awesome. All right, 20 more cross country skiers, ready? Let's go. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, my favorite, gorilla walks. So, feet slightly wider than shoulder width. Toes are pointing to me. You're going to keep your feet flat on the ground the whole time. No going back on your heels. No shifting your weight up to your toes. Even weight on the feet. So you're going to sit down and touch your fingertips to the ground. Chest is up. Okay, you're going to walk forward. Two, three, four, and backwards. One, two, three, four. Stay down there. One, two, three, four. Reverse. One, two, three, Four, forward again. One, two, three, four, and back. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Reverse. One, two, three, and four. Let's do 10 more of each. Regular clapping. Well, I guess 20 cross country skiers. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Clap it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Skiers, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Grab a sip of water. I need one. And let's grab either your basketball, soccer ball, medicine ball, or just a glove if you don't have one. We're gonna work a little bit on our hip turn. Always exercises you should do before you start shooting so that we can connect what the stick and upper body and lower body are doing, okay? So I'll grab a ball today. So little change over what we worked on earlier in the week. When we're working on our hip turn earlier in the week, I was asking you to turn your shoulders and you see from the side, really reach, because we were working on our wrist shot. And when we shoot a wrist shot, you tend to bring the stick back pretty far. With a snap shot, you don't bring the stick back nearly as far. And so you don't need as big of a hip turn. So now we're doing what I call a pocket hip turn. Okay, so I don't have great pockets today, but you can see my Under Armour and Bull Guy. Okay, those are where my pockets are. So instead of hip turning all the way here, I'm just gonna hip turn to my pocket. So if you don't have a pocket, just pretend you do. Okay, so I'm just going here and still trying to generate, bam, as much power as I got when I did the big hip turn. Because when I shoot a snapshot, I'm not using nearly as much of a wind up. So we gotta be able to do this pocket hip turn in order to have effective quick snapshots and back ends. All right, so we've been here before, let's alternate sides. Okay, so it's low to the pocket, explode straight ahead. Low to the other pocket, explode straight ahead. Okay, so you're just gonna hear me say load, explode, and you're gonna alternate which way you load every time. Okay, knees are bent, chest is up, butt is out, get athletic position. Remember, we turn from our hip, not with the ball. Ready? Load, explode. Load, explode. Load, explode. Load, explode. Toes stay straight ahead. Just going to the pocket every time. You're still turning your shoulders a little bit, but not nearly as much as we were before. Now stay low. You don't need to stand up coming out of this hip turn. Keep your head at the same height. We want to shoot straight ahead, not up until the rafters of the ring. Snap, 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 and snap. All right. Now, like I said, we're mostly going to focus on our forehands today, okay, with our snapshot. But for the purposes of this warm up, we're going to keep working on both sides. So let's stand on one foot at a time, challenge our balance. Okay, so let's go balancing on the left foot, butt down, chest up, not quite knee to calf, but you're welcome to get that low if you want. And now we're going to go pocket hip turn to the right. Snapping forward. Ready? We're going to do eight. Let's go. One, snap. Two, three. Fight for your balance. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I said eight, and then I went to ten. Oh well, nothing wrong with doing a little bit more. Now remember, we're not just going through the motions. When you get to the end range of motion here, pointing that ball at me, I want you to snap the same way you would in a game, right? When I shoot, I don't do this, right? I'm snapping, bam, everything in towards the net. So let's go balancing on the right leg. Ball goes to the left, we'll do 10. Ready? Let's go. Pocket, snap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, all right, now let's step into that shot. Now remember, step and stride are different. We're gonna step from foot to foot. We're not stepping forward yet. So a lot of times when you take a snapshot where you're not gonna have the benefit of being able to step in, you're just gonna to wanna to get it off and just switch which foots, right? So you might receive it here and then bam, shoot to the other foot. So let's do it here. Uh, let's just work on the inside leg, okay? So we're gonna to load to the right in our pocket and stand on our left, and we're gonna step to our inside leg. Okay, watch again, load outside, step inside. We'll do 10. Ready, let's go. Load, snap, load, snap, load, snap, load, snap, 
Load, snap. Load, snap. Load, snap. Load, snap. Two more. Load, snap. Load, snap. All right, make sure we're not just swinging the ball. We want a little bit of that hip turn. The shoulders are turning a little bit to get you to the pocket. Other leg now, so we're on the left side, starting on the right leg. Okay, so we're starting on the right and we're gonna snap, marrying shot and step onto our left leg. Ready? Another 10. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. Last one, and then we'll get into our first strength circuit for the day. All right, now let's step in, or sorry, stride forward. Okay, so now we're gonna load inside leg on the right, stride forward to the outside leg. So we're shooting righty right now. Okay, everybody's doing that even if you normally shoot left. So we're loading to the hip or to the pocket on the right leg, striding forward to the left leg, Marrying shot and step, right? So as I release this shot, bam, that's when my leg hits. And you guys have been doing an awesome job of that in the challenge videos that you sent me so far. All right, let's go to the right, ready? Snap, snap, load, explode, load, explode. Stride forward, think about your Superman, throwing your body weight forward and your other leg back, snap. Snap, snap, one more, snap. Okay, remember what we wanna do on the Superman. We wanna be here when we take that shot, not here and leaning back. All right, so opposite leg this time, loading left hip, exploding right leg. Ready, let's go. Load, explode, load, explode, load, explode, load, explode, load, Fire. Good. Keep going. We do two more. And rest. Good. All right. Everyone's got the idea now. So, last set here, only on your number two or forehand side. So, righties, you're only going to shoot from the right. Left handed shots, you're only going to shoot from the left. Okay. So, let's just keep warming up that uh, step under shot, okay? So not striding forward, okay? Just stepping underneath the body, okay? So righties are on the right, lefties are on the left. Let's load up our inside leg. So whichever way you shoot, load up that leg and snap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now, same side with the ball, with the hip turn. Okay, just switch which foot you're shooting off of. So you're going outside to inside, ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Awesome. Ditch the ball. Oh, I almost hit the computer. That would have been bad. All right, square our gloves and our stick. Let's do our first set of push-ups. So, I'll give you guys a choice. You can do between five and 10 push ups. Minimum five, maximum 10. They all have to be bam, explosive off the ground because that's how we want to shoot when we shoot a snapshot, right? When I release my snapshot, it looks like this, which is the same as me pushing off the ground when I do a push up. All right, so you decide do five, do six, do seven, do eight, do 10. I skipped nine, I have no idea why. Okay, do as many as you think you can do, being bam, explosive, not slow. Let's explode, okay? I'll do six. You guys do as many as you want, between five and 10, starting from the ground. Ready, let's go. One, two, explode up. Three, four, five, Six, keep going if you want. Everybody else just hold at the top. Let's all keep holding here. Let's bring in one knee at a time. Slowly, if this hurts your hands too much, you can just take your gloves off and put your hands on the ground. It's just like you were doing a normal plank position. 
Let's do a couple more each leg. Abs tight, like you're being punched in the stomach and you're bracing. And rest, all right. So now we're gonna get into our moves, okay? So before, when I was showing the video, I talked about two different moves. You've got the push out and we've got the toe drag in. Those are the two moves that I wanna work on today. Okay, now if you have that extra stick or that dangle stick, you can use that now. So something you can slide the puck or ball under. Again, if you don't have it, don't stress out about it, okay? So I'm gonna start with the drag in move. Now I'm just gonna show it to you here and then I'm gonna go over it. We're gonna go over it as a group without the puck, okay? I know it's weird doing a toe drag without the puck, but you'll see what I mean. Okay, so the point of this is, okay, in a game situation, like right here, it looks like I'm gonna shoot. Instead of shooting from here, I drag it in and I change the shot angle. So you guys can see right now, it looks like I'm gonna shoot from out here. That looks like a wrist shot, right? So we can all agree, it looks like Kim's gonna shoot a wrist shot here. But instead of shooting it from way out here, I'm dragging it into my feet. Now, having it close to my feet allows me to really get over my stick. If, check out my hands right now. This top hand is really far away from my body and my bottom hand is right underneath me flexing my stick. So that's a huge change in the shot angle. Okay, much more effective than just doing this in terms of getting the goalie to move. Okay, so you can even look at my little stickers here on the wall, right? I'm outside that sticker, and then I'm going to pull it to the other sticker. So even if you just took that distance, that's pretty much a net, almost a net's worth of distance that the goalie has to move or the defender has to adjust to. Okay, now, without the stick here, the most important part of the toe drag is what you do with your hands. So we've been talking about getting our hands away, building this box. So in the toe drag, your hands have to go from out, across, reach, pull. So I reach, this is where it looks like I might shoot a wrist shot. Okay, so my top hand is right in front of my body. Now my bottom hand is in front of my body. Top hand, bottom hand, top hand, bottom hand. Let's do it, ready? Top, bottom, top, bottom. Don't even have to shift your weight yet. Just make sure you're going top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom. You can reach and pull further than that. Okay, now, I want you to move back your inside leg. Okay, so if you're righties, stagger your right foot back. Okay, if you're a lefty, stagger your left foot back. And now, do the same exercise and pull your stick blade in front of that back foot. Okay, so reach, pull, reach, pull, reach, pull reach, pull, hold it. Now, when you're in that pulled in position, make sure your hands are away. You should still be able to flex your stick right now. Okay, you have this box still built. If you brought your hands in and you've made a triangle, you won't be able to flex your stick. This is the most important part of doing a good toe drag into a snapshot. If your hand positioning is wrong, you'll never get the shot right. Okay, so reach, pull, reach, pull, reach, pull. Reach, pull, reach, pull, reach, pull, reach, pull. Okay? So again, if I was Austin Matthews, I'm not, nor am I a lefty, but this is what he did. He was reach, pull, and shoot to change the shot angle. Okay? So that's where we're going. We're not going to shoot it yet. So I want you to just reach and pull. Okay? Don't worry about your dangle stick yet. We'll get there in a minute. So get in that staggered position. Righty's on the right, lefty's on the left. Okay, so you're going to reach and you're going to pull that puck. And see how the puck now is in front of my back toe? Okay, so see from the side here. Okay, so I reach and I pull. Okay, the puck is right by the front foot and it's in front of the back foot. Okay, now you might pull it a little further ahead of you. That's okay to lean into the shot. All right, so let's try it like that. Okay, it says reach, pull, reach, pull, reach, pull. 
Don't worry about how you get the puck back out. Because we're not doing this as a dangle. We're doing this as a shooting exercise. So you want to reach and pull. Reach, pull. Reach, pull. Think about your hands going across your body. Reach, pull. Reach, pull. Reach, pull. Now, one extra piece I want to mention. You still want to shift your weight for your shot. So the puck is moving east-west with your stick here, right? So we're reaching and pulling, but we still want our body weight to go forward. So we don't want to reach and pull and shoot from over here. So watch my legs again from the side. When I reach, I'm loading my back leg. And when I pull, I'm going to load my front leg. So my upper or my body is going forward and back, but my stick is going side to side. So you can see my body weight going back and forward while my stick is going side to side. So let's do another minute or so of these. Reach and pull. And I want you to think about your body weight going back leg, front leg. Because if I was going to shoot right here, I'd want to shoot and be in my Superman position, which means I want to be on my front leg, the leg that's in front. Could be my inside leg. Right now, it's my outside leg. So watch. Reach, pull. Add your puck. So reach, pull. Add the weight shift in your legs. Reach, pull. Reach, pull. Reach, pull. Keep going. Reach, pull. Reach, pull. Reach, pull. Shift the weight. Reach, pull. Reach, pull. Make sure you're bringing that puck in all the way in between your feet. Reach. Pull, reach, pull. One more, reach and pull. All right, now let's move to the other move. Move to the other move. All right, so now we're gonna do the push out. Okay, so similar to that first video I showed you. Okay, and you can use your dangle stick for this one if you want. Okay, so remember the player with the red jersey? She had the puck on her back hand. She pushed it underneath to her forehand. And then she shot off her inside leg. Okay, so the move here, okay, is just a simple weight shift. So she went backhand, so forehand, but you can see the stick is in the way. So you might remember from the video, she went under, but she lifted her stick. That's what makes this shot kind of hard, is you're, you're not touching the puck the whole time. You're putting the puck into a space, and then you need to readjust your body in order to get the shot off. Okay? Think of the wrist shot we worked on the other day. You had the puck on your stick the whole time. That's a much easier shot to take. Often with the snap shot, the puck leaves your stick, and that's what makes it a little bit more challenging. Okay? So let's try it. Really simple here. Okay? So you're going to push it under. So you can even have a little bit of a reach like you're doing your setup move. So you're going to reach. Pull it, okay, and come and bring it back around. Now, when you put it underneath, okay, I want you to lift your stick over their stick, okay? So if you're using a stick against the wall, lift your stick over their weight. So reach, push it under. 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 Now, I know this is a really easy move. Okay, everyone's like, this is easy, Kim. I get it. Okay, the hard part is going to be when we add the shot coming right out of the move. Okay, with no extra touches. So, where we're going with this is here, pull, bam, right into a snapshot. And that's what makes it hard. Okay, so let's do a couple more of those. Okay, but let's turn it into a bit of a setup move. So, watch, you're going to dribble in one. Okay, you're going to set it up. Pull it under and then bring it back underneath. Okay, so dribble behind. There's your setup move and slide. Okay, dribble, set it up and pull it under. Dribble, fake, pull it under. Dribble, fake, pull it under. So remember on our setup move, we want stick, eyes, okay, body, everything shifting that way and pulling it under. Okay, let's do a couple more. So dribble. Shift, pull it under. Dribble, shift, push it under. Dribble, shift, push it under. Dribble, shift, 
push it under. Dribble, shift, push it under. All right. Let's get into the more challenging stuff. Let's just combine those two moves together. Okay? So watch, it's gonna look a little bit like a triangle. So if you have this dangle stick, you can keep using it. If you don't, don't worry about it. Okay? So there's a couple different ways to do it. We'll start off the toe grip. All right? So we're here. We're gonna reach, pull, and then slide back under. So reach, pull, slide. Reach, pull, slide. Reach, pull, slide. Okay? Reach, pull, slide. Reach, pull, slide. Reach, pull, slide. So you're gonna pull it in like you're gonna shoot and then push it to your back hand and push it back under. So reach, pull, slide it on your back hand. Reach, pull, slide. Reach, pull, slide. Reach, pull, slide. Reach, pull, slide. So this is actually a double change of the shot angle, right? So if Matthews wanted to fake his shot off the change of angle, which some of these guys do now, I saw what we do it a couple of weeks ago, right? So you could go, reach and pull. So it looks like you're gonna shoot here and step there and shoot back where you came from. Okay, a little bit advanced, but that's an example. If you can fake this shot and then jump and take that shot, that's a double fake, two changes of the shot angle. Most goalies aren't gonna be able to keep up. Okay, let's do a couple more like this. Okay, and then we'll talk about the snapshot a little bit. So reach, pull, shift it to the back end, push it back out. Reach, pull, use your legs here. Reach, pull, push. 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 All right, so that's the dangle part. Now, I want to really quickly go over snapshots. Okay, let's do one more set of our strength stuff. Grab a sip of water, and then we're just going to go over our snapshot technique, and then we're going to get right into how to use this change of the shot angle to score more goals or get more pucks through on the net. All right, so I'm just going to move my dangle stick. Let's do another set of push ups. After you're done your push ups, whether you decide to do five or 10, stay at the top. And we're gonna do one knee out at a time, touching our elbows. All right, so explosive push-ups from the ground. Are right, we ready? And go. Push up, push up, push up. Keep everything tight. Explode, explode, explode. Do a couple more if you're going all the way up to 10. Everybody else, okay, touch knee to elbow. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Keep going, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. Keep going. Everything tight. Squeeze that belly button in. Okay, like someone's trying to punch you in the stomach and you're bracing. Keep going. Couple more seconds. Two and one. All right. Let's grab a sip of water. And then we're going to get into the, how this actual shot is going to happen. Now, as you guys could probably guess, the challenge for tonight or for tomorrow's class is going to be adding this changing of the shot angle in to the moves we've already worked on all week. So you're going to have a setup move. You're going to have a puck protect, right? You're going to have marrying the shot and step, but that's going to come off changing the shot angle. Okay. So we're going to put all four days together into one little video for me. Okay. So, you can change the shot angle either off the toe drag or the push up, and you can decide which shot you want to take. Now, just a couple things on the snapshot. Okay, hands are away. Now, how do we shoot it effectively? You want the puck to be close to your body. It's actually slightly in front of your feet. So on a wrist shot, we pull back here. On a snapshot, it's slightly in front of your inside leg. Okay, so. Not too far up to the side, if you can see from here, okay, my hands are still underneath my body. It could be even closer, okay, but you don't really want it much further away than that in order to get the power. Okay, now, once you're here, like we did in our reach and pull, 
All you need to do is lock your bottom arm. So come, I'll come a little closer. I call it Spider-Man. So you Spider-Man your bottom hand, like you're shooting, right? Spider-Man, right? When we stick handle, both arms are bent. When we shoot a snapshot, bam, we've got to straighten out and Spider-Man that bottom hand. And what happens? It locks my blade, okay? It puts strength into that bottom hand. So now when I shoot, I can bend my expensive stick which is important when you're shooting a snapshot. You need to get some power into the ground. So when a wrist shot kind of sounds like that, a snapshot sounds like that, okay? So it should actually snap off the ground. So again, puck slightly in front of me to the side, I lock that bottom hand, okay? My top hand is still straight, not like this, right? So pretend your top hand is a glass of water. You don't want to tip the glass of water when you shoot. You just lock the bottom hand. Okay, now once you're here, it's easy. You just pull back your little mini bow and arrow and smack that puck like you don't like it. So watch. Okay, so hands are away. I go to the box, lock the bottom arm, Spider-Man. Pull back my mini bow and arrow. And smack it, watch again. So puck slightly in front of me, hands are away, lock, pull back. I haven't put a hole through that wall yet, but good thing it's a 99 cent puck here. All right, so that's what we're doing the snapshot. So the challenge here is whether I do the push out move or the toe drag, I have to actually bring my stick away with that mini bow and arrow before I want to shoot the puck. So I want you to challenge yourself to take one touch shots. So one touch shot on the push out would look like this, okay? I push it out and I shoot right there. A two touch shot would look like this, okay? I would go back in beforehand, stop it, and then shoot it, okay? So that's two touches. This would be one touch. We all know which one's faster, which one changes the shot angle more effectively when you only one touch it. Same thing with the toe drag, okay? If you want to reach, pull, Pull your stick back and smack it all in one movement. So you pull it, smack it. All right? You don't want it to touch if you don't have to. All right, so if you have a bunch of pucks in a net, feel free to have at it. If you don't, you're going to do it with me. We'll just fake it. So I still want you to dribble the puck first. Okay, so we're going to go with the push out shot first. You're going to dribble. Okay, let's set it up. So pull back in. Shift under and smack it, but you're going to miss the puck on purpose if you don't want to put a hole through your computer. And if you have somewhere to shoot, then don't worry about it. But I'm going to fake it. I'm going to get my hands away, Spider-Man, and shoot that puck. All right, ready? So let's dribble in one, fake backhand, slide it under, shoot it. Okay, so if you want to use your dangle stick, you can do that if you'd like. Okay, so dribble in one. Fake backhand, push it under, shoot it. Dribble in one, fake backhand, push it under, shoot it. Dribble in one, fake backhand, slide it under, shoot it. Dribble in one, fake, push, shoot. Dribble in one, fake, push, shoot. Dribble in one, fake, push, shoot. Now, if you're getting it off in a one touch, you're almost always shooting off the inside leg. So righties would be shooting off their right, and lefties would be shooting off their left, okay? Let's do a couple more like that. Really important when you fake and pull, you don't want to shoot leaning back. So when I release the shot, I still want to lean forward in the snapshot. Let's try it again. Dribble in one, fake back in, pull, shoot. Dribble in one, fake, pull, shoot. Dribble in one, fake, pull, shoot. Dribble in one, fake, pull, shoot. Think about changing the shot angle, right? You're shooting around to someone, either a defender, an opponent, or a goalie. So we don't want any tiny little changes in the shot angle. That's not gonna work. All right, let's do a couple more. Dribble in one, fake, push, shoot. 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 All right. Now, one more way to do that, okay, which I think is a little bit 
more explosive. Okay, you do good one. You're gonna think, you're gonna pull, and then you're gonna step with your outside leg into the shot. So watch that again. Instead of going think, pull, and shooting off my back leg or my inside leg, now I'm gonna think, pull, and marry the shot and step, exploding into your net. So let's keep going here. I'll do it without the puck so it's not too loud. Dribble in one, fake backhand, push, step and shoot. Dribble in one, fake backhand, push, step and shoot. Dribble in one, fake, step, shoot. Dribble, fake, step, shoot. Dribble, fake, step, shoot. Dribble, fake, step, shoot. Dribble, fake, step, shoot. One more. Dribble, fake, step, shoot. All right. So that's the push out move. A little easier, but obviously going to be used when you're going to your backhand side first. Okay? So your setup move is likely to be, okay, some kind of pull to the backhand. So either just the basic setup move, or you can even come out of a protect, right? And then push it across and shoot. I'm giving you guys ideas for your challenge video, which you're gonna do later tonight or first thing tomorrow. Okay, so if you decide to use this shot, the push out shot, right? You could start with, okay, a puck protect. So maybe you do the open, okay? And then you bring the puck back, you push it under the thing, right? And then you step into your shot, okay? That would be an example of one you could do. Okay, so sometimes our setup moves and our puck protection are kind of similar. Okay, so don't worry if you don't get all four things, but you absolutely need a change in the shot angle, okay, before you shoot the puck. And when you shoot it, you want to marry the shot and step, okay? And then either start with some kind of setup move or some kind of puck protect. All right, now we got one more move to work on here, okay? We got to do our toe drag shot. So again, you can use your dangle stick if you want. Okay, we're gonna try and do it in a game-like situation. So similar to what Matthews was doing, right? He was carrying the puck up the ice. He shifted his weight to make it look like he was gonna shoot. He pulled it in. Now he didn't take a snapshot, he took a wrist shot, but he can do both, okay? So watch, so if you're in one, okay, when we go to our forehand, when we shift our weight to our inside leg, we're gonna toe drag it under to the outside leg and shoot it. Okay, let's try that. So dribble in one, take to the forehand, pull under, and snap it. Dribble, take forehand, pull under, snap it. Okay, remember we talked about at the beginning, okay, getting that stick underneath you so you can flex it and in front of your toe. Okay, you want it to be nice and tight to get maximum power on it. Let's go again. Dribble in one, big forehand, pull under, shoot it. Dribble in one, reach, pull, shot. 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 Now, we can add a second step here to make it a little bit more challenging, okay, but fun. You gotta really change the shot angle big here to make this extra marrying the shot and step work. Okay, so watch, you're gonna dribble in one, you're gonna, you're gonna reach it out, you're gonna pull it in, and then you're gonna step back onto the inside leg. So you may just step with that foot right underneath you, or depending on where the puck is, you may stride forward. So watch again. We're dribbling in one, we're gonna reach, pull, marry the inside leg shot and step. All right, let's try that one. Dribble in one, reach, pull, step and shoot. Dribble in one, reach, Pull, step and shoot. Dribble in one, reach, pull, step and shoot. Dribble in one, reach, pull, step. Dribble, reach, pull, step. Dribble, reach, pull, step. Dribble, reach, pull, step. Dribble, reach, pull, step. Step. All right, we covered a lot of ground. So let's go over what the plan 
plan is for the challenge again. All right, we're going to keep layering on. So you want to have either some kind of setup move or some kind of puff protect. Okay, you can do either one, doesn't matter to me. Okay, so let's just give an example here. Okay, let's say I want to get fancy. So let's start with a jab. So I'm skating down the ice. Okay, I'm going to pull the three on my back end and I'm going to jab in. So there's a puck protection move to get around someone. Okay, I bring that leg back. Okay, now maybe I bring the puck back and I fake. Okay, there's my setup move. I slide it under. There's my change of the shot angle. And I can even step one more time and shoot that puck, marrying the shot and the step. Okay? That's how you might blend it together. I'm just giving you an example. There's so many different options you could use here. So again, maybe I'm on my forehand side this time. Maybe I start with a pullback and an open. Or maybe I go a pullback and a lunge. Right? Get that arm out even. Right? I can bring it back. I can toe drag, pull it under, and marry the shot and step. Those are just some ideas. Okay, now I'm asking you to try to do things that you think might work in a game and all this stuff should work. But of course we know hockey is unpredictable, so we can't script it. Okay, but play around with it, see what looks cool. Just make sure whatever puck protect or setup move you use is really gonna work. Okay, and you gotta sell it a little bit to me. Let's do one more set of push-ups. Between five and 10, we'll just do the push-up part, not the core stuff at the end. Everyone ready? Last set of push-ups here. So let's go, starting from the bottom. Get five or 10 out, whatever you wanna do. Explode, 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 explode. Do a couple more if you want, and rest. All right, so you're gonna send me those videos. All right, I had about 20 of them last night. You guys are doing great layering all this different stuff on. Okay, when you send me these videos and you guys are nailing it, it tells me you understand what we're doing, which is awesome for me as a coach, right? If you sent me a video and it didn't make any sense and I couldn't tell what you were doing, that would tell me I wasn't doing a very good job of teaching you what we're working on. All right, so changing the shot angle, either to get around somebody or shoot the puck around a defender, but take some time now and be creative. That's what hockey's all about. It's a game of mistakes. People are always falling over. The puck doesn't go where you want it to. You have to be creative because it's never going to happen the way coach draws it on the board. We all know that never actually happens. Okay, which means you have to be the one who can create and make something out of nothing. All right, so tomorrow's our last one. We're going to work on in tight dangles tomorrow and some quick release shooting. All right, so get those challenge videos into me. Whenever you have the chance, get them to me before noon tomorrow. Great job today, everyone.